Hey friends. So I am out and about today. It is a beautiful, well, according to the bike, 64. So I'm guessing more along the lines of 61, 62. It's a beautiful day, sun's out, it's a little cloudy, but I'm going out for a ride and uh, I'm going to go to the one place that no one would assume that a Can-Am rider would go to because they would probably get looked at, laughed at, and whatever else. I'm going to the local Harley-Davidson dealership because they've got some festival thing going on today, whatever. So that's where I'm going. And then from there, I have no clue where I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to go ride somewhere. I don't know. But that's the plan. The question is, is how many people are going to give me a bunch of crap for uh, for riding this and not riding a, riding a Harley. Here's a better question. Do I care? No, not really. Because like I say, ride your ride, man. If you want to ride a Harley, you ride a Harley. You want to ride a Suzuki, you ride it. You want to ride a Honda, you ride it. You want to ride a Husky, ride your Husky. Don't let anybody tell you what to ride. Well, I'm already starting to get some looks. Alright, well, let's go see what happens. 99% of the people didn't even see me pull in. It's only those six or seven. That's okay. I don't care. Alright, here we go. Alright, well, that was fun. Uh, had, a, had a young lady trying to talk me into buying a bike. That's not going to happen. Now it's just a matter of figuring out where to go. Alright, well, I, you know what? I'm going to shut this down for a little bit until I can get out of town. That would just be better. Which, I got a feeling is going to be a while before I'm out of town. So, I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. Well, out of the city... Up here in the uh, Tulalip tribal land. Never been out this way, so I figured, well, you know, why not? A little bit noisier than it normally would be right now. Uh, I took my gator off. It's getting a little warm. So I took that off. The bike's showing 64 degrees, so 61, 62. Actually, you know what? I think I have been out here once before. But that was a long, long time ago. Man, I will tell you, the pollen is in the air. My allergies are going crazy right now. <laughs> Ooh, and I'll tell you, sneezing in a helmet. Check that off the bucket list. And by the bucket list, I mean the bucket list of things I never want to do again. Holy hell. Wow. If you are not a sufferer of spring pollen and allergies, you are a lucky person. Because this stuff sucks. It, this must be a pretty popular road because I've just been seeing bikes right and left. I fear I'll just ride out here and take my sweet time. Speed limit is 45. No point in going much over that. There's nobody behind me. 
Well, me and Michelle were talking the other day, and we have uh, came to the conclusion that it would be best for me and for this channel if, oh, look at that buffalo. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's something you don't see every day. Wow. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So me and Michelle were talking the other day, and we both agree that we think that it would be best not only for myself and my knowledge base, but also it would be good for the channel that I go back and get my two-wheel endorsement. So that is what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go into the class with the mindset that I've never taken a two-wheel endorsement class, which I haven't, but also that I've never ridden a motorcycle. That this is all I've ever ridden is three wheels. And I think if I go in with that mindset that I'm, I'm here to learn because I want to learn and I want to be able to ride a motorcycle that I will be able to retain more knowledge and get more out of it and enjoy it more. But the big picture of this is a couple of things. One, if I go riding with somebody and they see that I'm on the spider and they're like, hey, I've never ridden one of those. Do you want to go ride mine and I'll ride yours to see what it's like? And I'll say, sure, I'd gladly do that. Because right now, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So, because I have so many friends that ride, and there may come a time where I may need to take one of their bikes because they're unable to, because whatever reason they you know they went home with somebody whatever they had too many drinks whatever there's probably going to be a time at some point where I go okay I need to ride this home or or whatever it is and so because of that I want to make sure that I am competent in my in my abilities and competent enough and secure enough in, in what I'm doing and riding the bike um, so that way I don't damage the other person's bike and so that I also um, you know am able to help them instead of going oh well I, I can ride three wheels can't ride two wheels so that's kind of the mindset that I'm uh, that I'm going into this with See, this is the uh, this is the areas that I like coming to because they remind me of home a lot. Because this is just just flat farmland, and then you get the the mountains over there. Very noisy road right here, but still very beautiful.
Well, I'll tell you what. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head on home, spend the rest of the day with Michelle. Maybe we'll just curl up on the couch and have some popcorn and watch movies. So anyway, I will go ahead and wrap it up for right now. Thank you very much for coming along for the ride. If you happen to just stumble across this video, please feel free to hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified when, uh, when I post new videos. If you're not already a subscriber, like I said, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board. And uh, until next time, just ride your ride, man. That's all you got to do. Just ride your ride. All right. Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. All right. Y'all take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.